رسولنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ماذا دعا رسول الله ماذا دعا سادات أنصار رسولنا ماذا دعا شاه الدستور وما شاء الله فاز دعسان شاه محمد نادر حقاني طريقاتنا الصحبة والخير في الجميع During these days, thank Allah, Ramadan. the month of Sha'ban is ending and Ramadan Sharif is approaching. It's going to start, inshallah, in a few days. The state of affairs of this world this year, in most places, there's a curfew after sunset at night after Isha during Ramadan there's Tarawih prayers everybody was praying them in the mosques but because there's a curfew and a lockdown for Tarawih prayers this Ramadan most people will not be able to pray it in congregation so they're asking, because there's a curfew, how we're going to pray it. Sometimes there's a misunderstanding. Prayer, namaz, salah, you can pray in the same place. But to pray using a phone or the TV and radio, you cannot follow it and form a jama'ah congregation. It doesn't work. Everything has rules. We are upon the sharia, the sacred law. Our tariqah cannot and does not go outside of sharia. And it's not, it cannot be according to everybody's whims and thoughts and desires. Prayer, namaz, salah is an important worship. You cannot follow the TV or the radio or the phone saying I'm going to pray and follow the Imam in congregation. Your prayer would not be accepted. You would be doing it in vain, and you'd be void of the rewards as well. Therefore, you should pray the obligatory fourth prayers by yourself or with people in your household. But if you say, I want to pray Tarawih following the Imam at the Kaaba, I'll follow the Imam and pray behind him. Well then, it's first of all not the same time zone. It could be an hour ahead or back or a few hours difference. So in every sense, it's not accepted. Even if it's the same time, it's not acceptable. You have to be next to the place. But if you're going to pray because you don't know how to pray it and your intention is not for praying in congregation but to pray by yourself, not to follow that imam, just to pray by yourself, then you can turn it on and follow the Fatiha, but you have to recite it yourself, the Fatiha and the Surahs, if you know them then you could do it with them. However, as an imam, to follow them is not going to be acceptable. You cannot do it in congregation that way. You can only pray your own prayer that way. Then it will be acceptable. And that is in fact Unnecessary. Now, most of the time there's live streaming going on for Tarawih, and we are telling the brothers and sisters right now everywhere to follow us live and pray your Tarawih has, or, or prayers is not acceptable. You can make the intention for yourself by yourself and pray like that. That's acceptable. You would read the Fatiha and the Surahs. You have to recite all of them. When you are with an imam someplace, of course, you don't recite what the imam recites and you'd be following the imam. 
That way you get the rewards for the congregation. Now anyway, because of the state of the affairs of the world, there's necessarily, by necessity, you want to go and pray in a congregation, jama'ah, but you cannot go, then Allah would give you the rewards of the jama'ah, the congregation, according to your intention, and you'd be getting the good deeds as if you're praying in a congregation, because you are out of necessity doing this not wanting to. When it comes to dhikr and the khatma hajikan, that's different. That can be done any hour or any time. Since it's not a fard obligatory thing, the rules are different. It can be done any time, at any hour, whatever you like, so you can follow a line if you see it. And you make the intention, and that time you can be together with us. The bayah is the same way, so we need to differentiate between these, between what is far obligatory and its rules, its wajib, and the sunnah, they're all clear. If we change them, Allah forbid, we would be committing a sin and coming under a burden. Things that are done unknowingly, you might have done it. Because we had warned before, but we had not said it directly like this officially. It wasn't done, whether it didn't come out of our mouth or it wasn't written. It might have been written incorrectly, but to correct the wrong is a virtue. We need to say it. It's not good to keep the wrong continuing. We need to warn people and correct it. We need to be on the right way. Always. You should not think, well, I said so, and I'm embarrassed to change it now. It doesn't work. Whatever the truth is, that's what needs to be said, nothing else. May Allah accept it. May Allah make it Mubarak, bless it. Inshallah. May we reach better, more beautiful days. Now, Muslims are being harmed and distressed everywhere. They're trying to harm Muslims everywhere. Their rewards are with Allah. If they are patient, Allah will give them great rewards. Great gifts in response to their patience. Nothing will be in vain. Nothing goes to waste. May Allah help us. May Allah give victory to Islam and send the Sahib, the owner, inshallah.